when you look at something so disruptive as that where a consumer doesn't even know that it exists or want it and are likely disgusted by it it's quite a challenge and you've got to work out how you can activate that my name's neil whippy i'm the co-founder of eat grub we make insect-based snacks Our brand is about being bold and accessible, you know, and there's no better way to do that than to actually just directly go for the things that people might say are the reasons why not to. Like our, our new strap line is disgustingly good. So we're really sort of driving in on actually the touch points of fear and we're not hiding away from what the content is. When we're trying to turn someone, we saw it in three sort of sections of a journey. We had the bars because they contain cricket powder, but they were mixed with dried fruit, seeds, oat bran, you know, your regular energy bar sort of type ingredients. And you'd get the benefits of insect protein without the visual element. And, you know, we found that's a great way to change someone's mind. And then we just thought the second move forward would be that they'd be buying whole snacks, but flavored. And of course that's the next step along, but actually once you've gotten over the first one you've already eaten it so why not and then the third one would be you know getting the whole ingredients and cooking them with them yourself or adding them to smoothies we find now that actually our most popular lines are the whole insects now more than ever you can put a new idea in front of consumers that in particular is about sustainability and have them take note i think most people are aware where you know we've wreck the planet and change is needed all over the place and there's a lot more people who are willing to you know make change themselves whether that's you know making a change to reduce their beef intake or whether that's making a change to you know eat insects um, as you know a little bit of their meal plan for the week you know there's lots of different ways people get involved and yeah i think now more than ever the opportunity's there and i think that's only going to grow and obviously you've got kids like Greta Thunberg who like I, I don't, didn't know what I was doing at her age. <laughs> like, do not what doing at eighteen. So uh, you know, I think the younger generations have like really inspiring figures of their own age to like look up to, and I think that's just going to drive mass change really quickly. You can just see it happening.